My name is Pete and welcome to my garage. Hello and welcome back to Pete's Garage where today I have a 2007 Chevrolet Tahoe with a 5.3 liter. This one has active fuel management but it does not have variable cam timing and we are getting a P0016 which is a crankshaft camshaft position sensor correlation code. And what that means is that the crankshaft and the camshaft are not in time. And it can even be one tooth off and set this code. It's probably tempting just to try to replace the camshaft or crankshaft position sensor for this DTC. However, unless you're having some weird intermittent fault, then I think you're probably going to find that this thing may have jumped timing on you. And let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, as we come down into the engine bay i already have the water pump taken off and the front cover taken off but i do not have the oil pan taken off i wanted to check it and make sure this is really what's going on and if we get down in here see above the timing gear you can see we actually have a couple of the teeth that are missing from the camshaft timing gear in the top right there it's kind of weird that we're missing teeth on that and you can see down here on the oil pump, there's plastic pieces and everything from the timing chain guides that's all over the place. And you can see right here, well, well, there's a ton of slack on this side and that tensioner isn't doing really much of anything because over here this guide is completely missing. Now it's hard to tell, you can see my mark for this cam gear is at six o'clock position and the crank gear has a mark down there that should be also, or it should be at the 12 o'clock position, but in fact is right there underneath the left bolt of this chain tensioner the dots way over there so we're a couple teeth off and this thing does run but it uh, does not run well and it clearly is lacking a little bit of oil change maintenance now if you're planning on doing this job yourself be ready to spend quite a bit of time doing it because you have to take the oil pan off in order to get the oil pump off correctly you can try, always try to snake that uh, pickup tube off of there, but it is not worth it in my opinion, and you're going to be fighting. Um, if you're paying somebody to do it, be ready to fork out for at least nine hours of, uh, of labor, depending on the labor rate where you work or where you live. Uh, you know, could be anywhere, you know, up to a thousand bucks in labor, 900 bucks, something like that, uh, or more. Um, you're looking at probably a couple hundred dollars, you know, two or three hundred dollars in parts also to do this because it does need a whole new timing set. So I'll show you what I got here in a second. You need, you need a new cam gear, a new chain, a new chain tensioner. And as you can see, the bolts for said chain tensioner are behind the oil pump. And plus you can't get the chain off or the crankshaft gear off without taking that oil pump off. And like I said, to do the oil pump, you gotta take the oil pan off. And be, this being a four wheel drive Tahoe means I gotta take the rear or the front diff out. So it's a lot of, a lot of work, but should be good as new whenever I'm done. All right, you can see the way this sits in here. There is a dot right here on this crankshaft gear and there's a mark on this camshaft gear right there. Those two need to be in alignment. The one that's in there right now, it's like way over like that. Well, this one's in the correct spot. So it clearly jumped timing whenever this chain guide broke. This one right here broke, got caught 
in the teeth right there on this crank gear and caused it to jump a couple teeth. And when it did that, apparently it sheared off a couple of the teeth up here on the cam gear too. Typically what we see is this piece right here on the tensioner side, uh, this piece of plastic um, breaks. Um, this is the first time I've seen this. However, I do believe this is actually fairly common for this engine setup and everything. This is not that uncommon to see this. So I hope this short little video helps somebody out. If you have a P0016, it's probably not a sensor or wiring. There's probably going to be a different code associated with your camshaft position sensor or crankshaft position sensor if it is that, uh, if it is the sensor. You can always try the sensors, but it's probably not a good idea. Ooh, speaking of that, if you've ever tried to change out one of these camshaft position sensors on the front cover of this, and you're just thinking, oh, I'm just going to replace that sensor because it's easy. It is not. That sensor gets stuck into this cover and you pretty much have to beat it out from the inside in order to get it off. So uh, you're probably going to end up taking this cover off anyway, only to inspect to see whether or not it jumped time like I have. So hopefully this saves you some time. And let me know if you have run into this issue. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot. I'm Pete, and this has been Pete's Garage.